So in this video, we're going to be talking about absolute inequality. So they want us to solve and to graph the following absolute value inequalities. So when we're solving and graphing uh, absolute value inequalities, we have to solve this the same way we do an absolute value equation. So remember, you have to isolate what's inside the absolute value bars, set it equal to the positive and the negative of this number. So here, I'm going to say that x plus 2 is less than or equal to 7, and x plus 2 is greater than or equal to negative 7. So here we will subtract 2, so I get x is less than or equal to 5, and here I, when I subtract 2, I get x is greater than or equal to negative 9. So here, with this inequality, I have to be larger or equal to 9, or excuse me, negative 9. So at negative 9 right here, I know it stops at negative 8, but I'll just put it right here. Negative 9, that is going to be filled in because I can include negative 9, and then smaller than or equal to 5. So that will be another filled in circle, and it's any value that is in between. So here, I'll get my ruler and draw my line. So this would be my solution set. Now, they want us to write this in inequality notation. So we're using inequalities for our notation. All right. So again, kind of like with interval notation, the smaller number comes first. So here I have negative 9. X is in the middle. And then 5. So we kind of have it written the same way. We just have it written out in this format. So this is the same thing. X is greater than or equal to negative 9, but it's smaller than or equal to 5. Same thing here. X is greater than or equal to negative 9, and X is less than or equal to 5. So I know right here it looks like the sign changed, but all I did was I put the negative 9 over here and the X over here. So the inequality is still eating the X, just like this. Now, interval notation, because these are filled in circles, I have to use brackets. So this will be a bracket, negative 9, 2, 5, and that also gets a bracket. All right, let's try another one. So here we have the absolute value of x plus 3 minus 1. Now, remember, you cannot do anything until the absolute value here is isolated. So I need to add 1 before I do anything. So I have the absolute value of x plus 3 is less than 6. Now what I'll do is I'll take this and I'll set it equal to the 6 and the negative 6. So I have x plus 3 is less than 6, nothing changes, and then x plus 3 is greater than negative 6. So now I'll subtract the 3 and I get x is less than 3, when I subtract a 3, I get x must be greater than, or, equal, or excuse me, just greater than negative 9. So if I graph this, I need to be smaller than 3, but larger than negative 9. So negative 9 is here. I'm keeping it as an open circle because I can't pick negative 9, but smaller than 3. So here. So it's anything that fits in between this value. So there's my graph inequality notation, just like we did at this top one. The number furthest to the left goes first. So this is negative 9 is less than x, which is less than 3. So your x can be any number that's in between negative 9 and 3, right? Just like it is here on the graph. The interval notation, we're saying negative 9 to 3. Both get a parenthetical because you cannot include either one. So these are examples kind of like and compound inequalities. Let's look at some where the solution will be more like an or compound inequality. So here we're going to say 2x plus 5 is greater than or equal to 3 and we have 2x plus 5 is less than or equal to negative 3. So here we'll solve by subtracting 5 from each side. So we're going to get that 2x is greater than or equal to negative 2, and 2x is less than or equal to 
negative 8. And then when I divide by 2, I get x is greater than or equal to negative 1, and x is less than or equal to negative 4. So I have to be larger than or equal to negative 1, but smaller than or equal to negative 4. So here, I cannot pick an, any number that's in between negative 1 and 4. So here, if I start here at negative 1, that is included, so that'll be a filled in circle. It needs to be any value that's larger than negative 1. So here, I can say any value that is larger than negative 1. And my second part of the inequality will be any number that's smaller than or equal to negative 4. So I draw my circle, I fill that in, negative 4. So here, the only values that you cannot pick are any value that's in between negative 1 and negative 4. So here I'm going to do my inequality notation. So when I do that, you'll just write it out. So here I can say x is greater than or equal to negative 1 or x is less than or equal to negative 4. Now my interval notation, remember, with or, that's when you're going to have your union symbol. So this would be from negative infinity to negative 4, right? Because the interval notation, you follow the number line. So here's negative infinity. I stop at negative 4. And we made a mistake. That negative 4 needs a bracket because it is included. I'll use my union symbol. And then I start at negative 1 and go to positive infinity. So here on the bottom, we're going to need to isolate this absolute value. So we'll start by multiplying by negative 2. So we get the absolute value of 4x minus 8. Now remember, when you multiply by a negative number, remember that rule. If you multiply or divide by a negative number, the inequality changes direction. So here, this is going to be greater than or equal to positive 12. So now I can write this out separately. So I can say 4x minus 8 is greater than or equal to 12, and I can say 4x minus 8 is less than or equal to negative 12. So here I'll add 8 and divide by 4, so x here. So 20 plus 8, is, or excuse me, 12 plus 8 is 20, divided by 4 is 5. And then when I add 8, I get negative 4. And then negative 4 divided by 4 is negative 1. So here, x is less than or equal to negative 1. So we have a closed circle on 5. And it's any value that's larger than 5. So here, I can illustrate any number that is larger than 5. And any number that's negative 1 or smaller. So my inequality notation, here I would say x is less than or equal to negative 1, or x is greater than or equal to 5. And then interval notation, I'll have my union. So this would be negative infinity to negative 1, bracket, union, 5 to infinity. And that's how you do absolute value inequalities. All right, I hope that this video helped. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments, and we'll see you all in the next video.